amid an uncertain and evolving battlefield and against an unpredictable hybrid enemy. The need for a competent, resilient, and effective fighting force has never been greater. Tumuloy naman ako sa Fort Magsaysay. Doon ako uh, nag-training sa Special Forces. Yung klase ko doon was the SPOC, nangatawag uh, Special Forces Operations Corps. E doon naman ako tinuruan ng mga survival dahil ang trabaho ng SF ay eh, maiiwan at mag-o-organize ng pwersa kapag ka may gera. Swarming every inch of the battlefield with highly trained unconventional warriors, and Kafku active auxiliaries is the key to jungle warfare against the communist terrorist group. Kahit saan kami papuntahin, kahit anong paketin sa amin na bundok, kayang kaya, kahit anong kargahin namin, hindi kami nahirapan. Highly skilled SF operators can infiltrate enemy lines anytime, anywhere. These elite forces are unrestricted by political boundaries. Not an inch of the battlefield cannot be reached. No enemy cannot be defeated. Happy are those warriors to whom such opportunities to defend righteousness come unsought. The Green Berets dominate operations in urban terrain with game-changing tactics born from experience. The special forces is first among equals in times of war. In times of peace. Sa kamaayo sa atong gobyerno karon, tungod sa kabutan sa atong gobyerno gihatagan big chance nga makabarog. Ug makatabang sa among mga kaubanan nga nikabot nga mahimutang takong tampo para sa dugang kalabuan sa atong apang gobyerno. Among their vast arsenal of capabilities and roles, the silent professionals are civil servants first. In this country, no matter who you are or where you are from, we are all in this together. When there are battles to be won to ensure the future of our country, there is a competent, resilient, and effective unit. The Special Forces. At this juncture, may we request the President to please stand. The Regiment Commander will hand over the Special Forces badge and will present the Special Forces tablet of the Special Forces Operations Course, Class 21-Alpha of 1979. The then Second Lieutenant Ferdinand R. Marcus Jr. is a proud member of the Special Forces Operations Course, Class 21-Alpha of 1979. Back then, he was known to be one of the promising and brilliant students who eagerly learned unconventional warfare, the primary mission of the Special Forces. He was equipped with necessary specialization, training, and skills from highly capable SF instructors.
Thank you, Mr. President. May we request the President to lead the presentation of awards to SF personnel who exceptionally stood out in the performance of their duties. He will be assisted by the Secretary of National Defense, Attorney Gilberto C. Teodoro Jr., and our Regiment Commander, Brigadier General Napoli. All active military personnel, attention to orders. The Distinguished Conduct Star is presented to Captain Mario Anton Balaram S. Tamayo. The Gold Cross Medal is presented to Technical Surgeon Ruel L. Moreno. The Gold Cross Medal is presented to First Lieutenant Brian C. Bato. The Gold Cross Medal is presented to Sergeant Winston P. Burha. The Gold Cross Medal is presented to Lieutenant Colonel Dax Jacinto Z. Barinos. The Silver Cross Medal is presented to Colonel Rosendo C. Abad, Jr. For our Unit Combat Award, may we invite the Commanding General of the Philippine Army, Lieutenant General Romeo S. Browner, Jr., to join our Commander-in-Chief to award the CGPA Battle Streamers. The CGPA Major Engagement Streamer is presented to the 33rd Special Forces Special Category Company. Likewise, the CGPA Significant Accomplishment Streamer is also given to the 33rd Special Forces Special Category Company. The Army Governance Pathway Proficient Status with Gold Trail Blazer is presented to the Special Forces Regiment Airborne Philippine Army for demonstrating a culture of good governance and performance excellence. The said award will be received by the Regiment Commander. All active military personnel All active military personnel, please be seated. And for our best of the best personnel, the plaque of recognition is presented to Captain Jeffrey L. Ladislao for being the best junior officer for the year 2022 to 2023. The plaque of recognition is presented to Technical Sergeant Dennis G. Pataxil for being the best enlisted personnel for the year 2022 to 2023. The plaque of recognition is presented to Captain Clint Aquiles G. Ramos for being the best officer instructor for the year 2022 to 2023.
The plaque of recognition is presented to Staff Sergeant Ramsey C. De La Cruz for being the best EP instructor for the year 2022 to 2023. The plaque of recognition as the stakeholder award is presented to Mayor Miguel Silva Jr. of Pangantukan Bukidnon for his invaluable support to the 1st Special Forces Battalion. The plaque of recognition is presented to Miss Mary Joy Bustamante, founder of the MJB Cares Foundation, for her invaluable support to the 2nd Special Forces Battalion. The plaque of recognition is presented to Mrs. Nanita Kismundo, Chief of the Third Field Property Accountability, Philippine Army, for her invaluable support to the Special Forces Regiment Airborne. The Lifetime Achievement Award is presented to Retired First Chief Master Sergeant Lito A. Tompayogan, Infantry Philippine Army, for his years of service to the Special Forces and his example of personal leadership in the AFP. The Special Forces Special Education Foundation Incorporated Scholarship Support is given to Ms. Desri May Balayanto, a student at St. Matthew College in San Mateo Rizal. Thank you, Mr. President, and congratulations to all the awardees. At this point, may we call on the Secretary of National Defense, Attorney Gilberto Teodoro Jr., to introduce our guest of honor. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of our Republic and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, his Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. Thank you, uh, National Defense Secretary Gilberto Chodoro Jr., as you were. The uh, Special Assistant uh, to the President, Secretary Anton Lagdameo. Other uh, members of the cabinet uh, here present, the AFP uh, Chief of Staff, General Andy Centino, Philippine Army Commanding General, Lieutenant General Romy Browner, Jr., the Northern Luzon Commander, Lieutenant General Fernil Buca, the officers and enlisted personnel of the Special Forces Regiment Air Airborne by Brigadier Brigadier General Ferdinand Napoli, Aking Tokayo. The 2023 awardees of the Special Forces Regiment Airborne, congratulations. My fellow workers in government, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. We are here today to join the officers men, women, personnel, and stakeholders of the Special Forces Regiment Airborne, commemorating our 61st anniversary. On this glorious occasion, we recognize the fortitude and prowess of the men and women in the Special Forces who have dedicated their lives to public service. I also take this moment to celebrate the proud history of the SFRA, which was first spearheaded by then Captain, former President Fidel Valdez Ramos. When, it was, when we were established in 1962, it was the first operational Special Forces unit with airborne capability. Extensively trained in unconventional warfare, equipped with various tools and capabilities, the members of the SFRA have proven themselves valuable in both wartime and peacetime operations. From combating terrorist groups in the country to supporting peacekeeping operations overseas, 
We have demonstrated competence and professionalism even in the most challenging of times. In March 2023, the SFRA's 4th Special Forces Battalion based in Isabela City, Basilan, conducted search and rescue operations. It led to 316 individuals being rescued from a burning passenger marine vessel off Alesson shipping lines bound for Holo port. Let me also congratulate the awardees for your exemplary performance and contributions to the regiment. You have exemplified self-sacrifice and resilience going beyond the call of duty to safeguard communities towards the attainment of eternal, internal security and of the peace of the Republic. I think it would be safe to say that you have lived up to your name as the silent professionals. Truly, you have not only played pivotal roles in times of battle, but have also become dependable sentinels for the Filipino people. Through the responses for humanitarian assistance, you have created a ripple of hope in our communities, increased our people's trust in the military and in the government. So to the men and women of the Special Forces Regiment Airborne, we are grateful to have witnessed the efforts that leverage your expertise and demonstrate the core principles in the performance of your duties. Your mastery of unconventional warfare strategies become all the more relevant and significant in view of the complex threat that our nation now faces. We assure you of the administration's unassailable commitment and that of your Commander-in-Chief support in all of your undertakings, strengthening your capabilities and ensuring your welfare and that of your families. We have adopted the Riverine Operations Equipment Project to further improve your capabilities in riverine operations. On this note, we enjoin you to keep aiding fellow Filipinos by supporting them in times of crisis. Ensure their safety and well-being during operations and uphold the morale of the people that you serve. May you all continue to train and empower yourselves in maintaining your standing as experts of unconventional warfare strategies. Maraming salamat, mabuhay ang Special Forces Regiment Airborne. Thank you, Mr. President. Now, the regiment commander will present a memento to the President and Commander-in-Chief as a true-blooded Special Forces Operator. The citation reads, The unconventional warfare memento signifies the broad spectrum of operations that consists of developing, organizing, training, supporting, and directing in various degrees indigenous or surrogate forces in order to defeat, disrupt, or force the withdrawal of an invading or occupying power of the government. At this juncture, may we request the President to kindly grant us a photo opportunity. May we invite on stage the combat awardees. May we request the civilian awardees and government officials to please prepare. Please exit to your right. May we now invite the civilian awardees and government officials to proceed on stage. May we request the Philippine Army Major Unit Commanders and PNP Commanders to please prepare. Thank you. Please.
please exit to your right. May we invite on stage the Philippine Army Major Unit Commanders and PNP Commanders. May we request the members of the Special Forces Operations Corps Class 21-Alpha of 1979 to please prepare. Thank you. Please exit to your right. May we invite on stage the members of the Special Forces Operations Corps Class 21-Alpha of 1979. May we request the former Special Forces Regiment Commanders to please prepare. Exit to your right. May we request the former Special Forces Regiment Commanders to please proceed to the stage. May we request the Battalion Commanders and Company Commanders to please prepare. Exit to your right.
please exit to your right. May we request the battalion commanders and company commanders to please proceed to the stage. May we request the special forces regimental staff to please prepare. Exit to your right. Finally, may we request on stage the Special Forces Regimental Staff. Please exit to your left. Thank you, Mr. President, for granting us a photo opportunity. At this point, may we request everyone to please stand for the singing of the Special Forces and Airborne Song. of the AFP and we are soldiers of liberty some infiltrate to the AFP others are sky paratroopers we're special forces and fight we will till all the guns of the foe are still airborne from sky so blue we're coming to make a job take your part let's go put on your your parachutes Get all the fighters ready to attack today For we'll be gone Into the dawn To fight them all the Special Forces way Hey! We're Special Forces of the AFP And we are soldiers of liberty Some in the fit to the enemy Others are skies but a troopers we're special forces and fight we will Till all the guns of the foe are still Airborne from sky so blue We're coming through, make your jump, take your bomb, let's go! We jumped last night, we jumped the night before We gotta jump tonight as we never jumped before of the Airborne Company, which is the best company, the best company that has ever come from the AFB. Glorious, ha ha ha, glorious, a track load of beer for the whole of us. Praise the Lord above, there will be more of us, for we are the members of the Airborne Company, which is the best company, the best company that has ever come from For the whole of us Praise the Lord above There will be more of us For we are the members of the Airborne Company Which 
just the best company, the best company that was ever come from the AFB. That concludes our program for today. Thank you, Mr. President, for gracing today's anniversary celebration. Once again, once again, ladies and gentlemen, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. He is accompanied by Brigadier General Ferdinand B. Napoli, Philippine Army, Commander of the Special Forces Regiment Airborne, Philippine Army, and other government officials. We may now be seated. Welcome to the Capability Demonstration of the Special Forces for the Special Forces Regiment Airborne Philippine Army 61st Anniversary. And gentlemen, may we request everyone to please direct your attention to the sky as members of the Special Forces team conduct military freefall. Thank you. 
Protocol is a technique used by Special Operations Forces to infiltrate behind enemy lines. It involves jumping out of an aircraft at high altitude and free-falling until the parachute is deployed. The military free-fall allows operators to insert into areas where traditional parachute jumps would not be feasible due to the distance from the target or the need for stealth. The military freefall is a highly specialized skill that requires extensive training and experience. Operators must be proficient in skydiving techniques and familiar with the equipment used in MFF operations. They must also be able to navigate using GPS and other tools, as well as be prepared to deal with potential hazards such as high winds, difficult terrain, and enemy detection. The military freefall is typically used for high-risk missions such as reconnaissance, sabotage, and direct action raids. It allows special operations forces to rapidly insert into an area undetected, giving them a tactical advantage over the enemy. The military freefall is just one of many techniques used by Special Operations Forces for infiltration and exfiltration. And it requires careful planning, coordination, and execution to be successful. The tactical employment of the military freefall involves careful planning and execution to ensure the safety and success of the mission. Here are some key considerations for the tactical employment of the military freefall. One, mission planning. Before conducting a military freefall operation, mission planners must carefully assess the objective and select the appropriate insertion method, equipment, and personnel. They must also consider factors such as weather, terrain, and enemy activity. 2. Equipment Selection Military freefall requires specialized equipment including oxygen systems, cold weather gear, and high altitude parachutes. Operators must be trained on the proper use of this equipment and conduct thorough equipment checks before each mission. 3. Personal Selection and Training Military freefall requires highly trained and experienced operators who can handle the physical and mental demands of high-altitude parachuting. Operators must undergo rigorous training in military freefall techniques including high-altitude jumps, oxygen systems, and emergency procedures. Four, operational security. Military freefall operations are often conducted in hostile environments and operational security is paramount to mission success. Operators must take measures to avoid detection and maintain secrecy before, during, and after the mission. Overall, the tactical employment of the military freefall requires careful planning, specialized equipment, highly trained personnel, operational security, and risk management.
When executed properly, military freefall can provide a highly effective means of infiltrating enemy territory and conducting special operations missions. Upon reaching their designated landing zone, the Special Forces team will immediately cache their parachutes to avoid detection and will proceed to their objectives. wherein the team from their consolidation area will rally to their objective and perform close quarter battle to secure the hostage. Ladies and gentlemen, the following scenarios will involve explosives and live fire simulation. Guests are encouraged to wear their eye and ear protectors. Cyber 1, Cyber 2, in position. Cute in 3, 2, 1. Mr. President, to improve the conduct of high-risk missions such as this, the Special Forces Regiment is implementing a battle management system. Our system is made up of this equipment carefully selected to suit the requirements of our SF units in the conduct of their mission. As part of our system, so we have here a blue force tracking capability which provide situational awareness not only to the operators of to the on the ground but also to the decision makers fire the hole fire the hole fire the hole Mr. President, to date, only the Special Forces Regiment has a tried and tested battle management system which was used by my company during our operational deployment. And aligned with the Army's vision of being a world-class, multi-mission ready and cross-domain capable by 2040, the Special Forces Regiment aimed to capacitate all of its units with an effective battle management system. Ladies and gentlemen, the Special Forces team the soldier, soldier.
like to request everyone to direct your attention once again to the sky as we officially welcome you to the 61st anniversary of the Special Forces Regiment Airborne Philippine Army with the theme, Competent, Resilient, and Effective SOF Through the Years. Once again, happy 61st anniversary to the Special Forces Regiment Airborne Philippine Army. That concludes the capability demonstration for today. Thank you, Mr. President. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, our President, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos, Jr.